<laughs> They're so delicate and luxurious, amazing. Let's have some illumination. Hi, I'm Paul. On August 1st, Su Bin Tian became the first Chinese athlete to enter into the finals of the 100 meter race at the Tokyo Olympics. I've come to his hometown today, the town of Gujin. Gujin is also famous for lighting. In fact, 70% of all of China's lighting manufacturing happens right here in Gujin, and 50% of the world's lighting factory, giving it the nickname, the lighting capital of the world. Now we're at the Zhongshan Huayi Lighting Company. This is very exciting. This entire factory employs about 3,000 people. Let's go inside and take a look. They start here with a press. They go into this machine here where they're adding some components. And then they move over here to kind of an oven, a heating element which binds it all together. Ah, the next part of the process each one of these workers is adding different components to the motherboard itself. Everything from lighting controls and, and uh, fire protection. Now that we've seen the Huayi factory, we've actually come to the Huayi Lighting Plaza. It's this gigantic mall here in Gujin that's filled from floor to ceiling with lighting showrooms. This is an amazing place to come around and look around. Let's go look at some of these showrooms. Wow! This is a, these you can take off. Wow, there's a lot of weight to this. You can take these off and they can actually wash them. It's like made of a special material to be washed. It's so beautiful, right? It's a, it has a lot of weight to it. It's very, very opulent. I mean, look at this. I mean, wow, look over here. You got over here. Look at the, the peacock. They actually call these peacock stones. That's great, wow. <laughs> They're so delicate and luxurious, amazing. This is one of the more interesting showrooms I've seen here at the plaza. It's kind of got a modern feel, but not just in the design, but in the technology. Come, I'll show you what I mean. Now, one of the things, one of the things they're trying to do is to kind of merge human and lighting interaction. There's no switches. Instead, you just move your hand under the light. And then if you want it brighter, if you want it dimmer, and if you want it off. Wow, look at this. What a striking piece this is. Now this piece changes colors depending on the music that is being played. It's for a hotel or a lobby. And the coolest thing about this whole experience is that you can customize the lighting for the music that you choose. And look at the walls. These are just beautiful, like the flowers are blooming and then they'll close and open and close. Incredible design. Now I've come to another gigantic shopping mall filled from bottom to top with lighting showrooms. At present, there's over 400 different showrooms here from both domestic companies and companies from abroad. This is an amazing place. Up here, that is a, that 3D looking globe, light globe up there, that weighs two tons. Amazing, and then the ceiling itself is an attraction here in Zhongshan. This gigantic LED screen that uh, covers the entire ceiling actually changes. It has different themes. It has a forest theme, an underwater theme, a twilight theme, and a starlight theme. And it's an actual show. They play music and dim all the lights. These chandeliers that look pink in the corners, they look pink from the underside, but from the top, it looks like you have fish swimming in them almost like a, an electronic aquarium. 
These lights are really works of art, and the lighting industry is not just simple industrial manufacturing. The enterprises in Gujan Town combine culture, art, design, and fashion to make real works of art and luxury goods, which impress the entire world and improves added value to your home or office. So nowadays, people's requirements for lighting differs. It's no longer just for your kitchen or your bedroom or even an exhibition. It's also for creativity, wisdom, and design within your home. Take this for example. This is a, a kind of a traditional looking lamp. It looks like something I would uh, take when I went camping when I was a boy. And this thing is all electric and if the lowest setting will last 160 hours before recharging. If you turn it up to the full setting, it's about eight hours. But if you knock it over, it turns off and then turns right back on again. And if you wanna blow it out like a candle, you can. So Gujin lighting is not just popular here in China, it's popular throughout the world. In fact, these products are exported to over 130 different countries and regions. And it represents annually about 100 billion yuan in total revenue. Man, I feel very comfortable here, right? Well, uh, as you can see, Gujin is a very, very cool town. I mean, it's a place where they mix modernity and tradition together, not just in lighting manufacturing, but also in design. And customers, consumers, and tourists from all around the world can come here and experience the unique culture that is found here in Gujin.